Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond the Galactic Science. Today we want to set up the Killer Joe I think, but the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the problems I've been having with the Minechem setup. I'm not quite exactly sure, I think there's something strange going on there, so let's have a quick look at what we've got. So if we have a look at um, Cobblestone for example, so if we press here and have a look at Cobblestone, So we look at, say, mm, doubly compressed cobblestone, like that, and we look for the uses of that by right-clicking. And you can see here from Minechem you get various things. They're a bit sort of mixed as to what you're actually getting at any one time. But then you go up to triple compressed cobblestone, and then you look at the uses for that, and you'll see that for each item you're getting 130, which is just over two stacks, except for oxygen. And there's a twelve percent chance, so that basically means every nine blocks you'll get a you'll get this hundred and thirty. We won't get it every single block, and you don't get it just comes in sort of twelve. So it's a bit strange. You can actually do the same with yeah, quadru quadruple compressed, but then you just get a larger number. And exactly the same, just nine times what hundred and thirty was, you get eleven seventy. And I think you can't do with quintuple compressed. I think that's the last of the ones. So, let's go and have a look at the mine chem setup again. Hopefully I can get down the ladders today. Well, that's amazing. So here we have it. So, when I right click on here, you'll see that items are going in slowly. It's really weird how this works. I don't get it fully. I don't see anything coming in at all. But, the number of stacks are sort of... Mm, I think they're decreasing. Sometimes it blocks, but we do see here a few of these are full. So silicon, for instance, is actually full. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to upgrade this one, and I'm going to upgrade the oxygen one as well, because that's the one that makes the important stuff in a way. Because the rest of it we get plenty of. So we get silicon and oxygen. So I'll just add a few more upgrades into those to increase the number. Actually, I can do it for just do the whole lot like that. So that now can take 1280 stacks, and all the rest of these we don't really care about sodium, and magnesium, and lead we get from other sources, so we don't care about that. Iron we also get from other sources, uh, basically, sieving titanium is the only one we actually get this, you can't get another way except for by um, mining on the asteroids. So that's okay too. We don't, we've got plenty of it anyway, so there's no shortage of titanium. And this isn't sieving at all, so it's sort of blocked. Hopefully, it's actually going up here. I can see it going up. That's another stack. I just saw something go through there, so that's okay. Wait a few more seconds. So I don't really understand why it gets into sort of producing thousands and thousands of these for each one of those. So. Oh, never mind. Grading it now should sort of make sure that it works. So, but the sieving's working fine here. Look, plenty of gravel going through. Everything getting hammered nicely, and over the rest it's working. So we can forget about that. And if I want to, extend, if I want more obsidian, I've still got zero in there. Oh, we've actually got 32 stacks of sand now, so that's fine. Which we can, of course, do what we want to. And this one is actually set up if I want to make dirt. We can make some dirt. But actually, back at back at the uh, the base as well. Let's go back, transmit our way there to the crafting area. Ah, yes, it's reset itself. The reason it reset itself is because, um, well, when I started up the game this morning, it had it basically didn't initialize properly. Properly, so everything got reset to sort of the basics. So it said all the energy and stuff like that was power, so let's just um, right click that with that. We'll have to use a screwdriver. have to use a screwdriver in reconfigure mode, don't I? Yes, now it's set to transmit there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make, I'll put these jabber stuff away I've got with me. Let's put it, it doesn't matter which chest, but it'll disappear. We've got some more cows, captured some more cows, some cows were disappearing out. And I've also 
Got some endelily seeds from the farm outside. I plan to plant those somewhere. Maybe in the same farm where the wheat's growing at the moment, but the wheat's taking its, t its fair old time, I reckon. For some reason, I'm finding cows on the floor beside it. Never mind. Let's let's get them and make this killer Joe anyway. So let's have a look. So we've got these type of killers from Progressive Automation, and the killer Joe is this one here. So we need a Franken zombie. Three dark steel ingots and some fused quartz. Hopefully, I've got that somewhere about actually. So, what's that? A soul valve with a, a zombie in it and a Z, Z logic controller, which is fairly straightforward. I might have got some of those made. Let's have a quick look. It's fairly standard Ender IO stuff. Ender IO chest is this one, I think. Dark steel, I've got yes. And I should have a soul vial with a zombie in it, which I haven't. No, oh, better go and get one of those. Huh? But we've got a Z logic controller, so I need to make one of those zombies. Now, where am I going to go and find a zombie? Actually, I do know where we can find zombies, and normal zombies too. So let's go and get one of those. Oh, I've lost a block here. That's strange. No wonder it's that's a bit messed up, isn't it? I'll have to go and make a new one of these. What have we got to make? Just a standard Stargate ring block. Hmm. I wonder if that's been. I see that occasionally. Maybe it's just been hit by a flying meteor. But you'd expect to see a meteor here, wouldn't you? Very strange. Okay, let's go back and see if we can make a new Stargate ring block. In fact, if I remember rightly, I need some of this stuff over here. What do we need? It's basically it's Venus, Venus oil and and a titanium. That's Venus crystal. Let's just have a quick look because I'll only make one, so we'll only get the right ingredients for that. So let's have a look. Here. So we need a star block ring, star gate. So we just need one of these by the looks of it. So that's three Nakwada ingots, which is basically Nakwada with block of iron. Nakwada is crystal or with blocks of coal around it. Okay, so we need three of those, three crystals. And that produces one of those. I think we need six crystals for this. Let me just go back. Yes, we do. So we're six crystals. Six. Right, I'll just make one of these and come back when I've done it. See you in a few minutes. Right, I'm back. I have got the Nakoda ingots. They take forever to to make in the alloy smelters. Fortunately I've got two alloy smelters so I can quickly make a starbuck ring. Fortunately I only have to make one of these things otherwise it would take forever. So let's go and put that back into place and see if we can go to the to the world of other places. Actually what I do need with me is this. I've got it already. Good, that's fine. In fact I should give that a quick test. I haven't used that for ages either. The charged porter. So if we right click that should take me back good it does. Right, I'm still picking up more jungle saplings. I probably should make this roof a bit bigger actually. Seems to be a good idea to make a roof. Right, here we go. Yes, that's all we needed. That's fantastic. So now we should be able to set the to the places where we need to go. So it's ZFR R U D G J Y I hope and click the yellow button and stand back a bit. Standing by the chickens is a bit noisy, let's move away. It's been a long time since I've used this machine. At least uh 
hopefully it still works there we go so let's quickly go into here and then as you can hear plenty of mobs around here hopefully the the tiles won't bring me back so what I do need is this to find a zombie so it goes green skeletons I can hear I can hear a zombie somewhere about plenty of mobs out there creepers over there let's go this way so what we want is a zombie skeleton we have a zombie, good. Let's go and get him in the soul vial if I can. Good. So, having done that, all we need to do is go back, teleport ourselves home, and go back into the tides. Now we can make our Franken zombie. So we need the soul binder, I think is the one we need. Yes, we do. So we need that and that. And we need 10 layers of XP and they've only got two. Okay. So I should be able to have some layers of XP down here. Let's go and right click this with an empty hand. Good. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. In fact, the best way to get XP in a passive way is to go fishing. Now, but my auto AFK fish farm didn't work very well. Right, where are we? Here we go. So let's take that, and then we should be able to make our Franken zombie. So what else do we need while that's processing? Actually, it's not going to take very long to do it at all, is it? We've got you know, I've picked up a squid's ink sack from the from that place soup, and then we've got a soul vial and a Franken zombie. So we need to go back to our killer Joe. Now, what else do we need for this? Fused quartz and three dark steel. Now, dark steel we should have, in fact, fused quartz. We've got 31, so we need five of these, isn't it? Five of those and three dark steel. So, there's a row of those, a basin of these, and a Franken zombie. And we get one Killer Joe. Now, the Killer Joe actually needs a sword. So let's go and do that as well. Um, in fact, I think I got a sword somewhere about. I'll take two of these. Three of the. We'll take three of those. Actually, two should be enough, shouldn't it? Because you make an ender with an ender sword with two of these. And I've got somewhere some ender swords prepared. I think they might be still in the moon base so let's have a quick look well here's the, here's the one I wanted it's actually it just needs a bit of repair so we've got an anvil somewhere about so I think that's over the other side I'm not sure how many XP we're going to need to repair it so but the nice thing about the killer Joe is it catches the XP for you it's around here isn't it just between the two laps so let's see what it takes to repair this. Enchantment costs six. Okay. Put that out there, so we need six. I shall move the sword vial out of the way. We'll probably put that back again, couldn't we? actually took the two ingots is that fully repaired now let's have a quick look so power is one million that's fine of course it would be because it's in my inventory so it gets picked up and um, durability is 1561 so that'll be a good sword for the killer joke I got two but that's nonsense it's just a graphics bug has gone now let's get rid of these while we're thinking about it that will stay there and put that away we don't need that either and the reason I've got this blaze rod in my inventory here is I wanted to show something I've been doing this for I haven't done this and I've been had it for me, with me for ages 
So that actually the cheapest way to make blaze powders, if you look at the rest of the uses of this, is you, if you craft it, you get two. But if you mind chem it, Sag mill you get four with sulfur chance. You get an enchanter. If you mine chem it, you get six plutonium. plutonium. Now six plutonium, hardly reactive. If you right click this, the uses of that, you'll see that that makes one of those, makes one blaze powder. So all we need to do is to put that in there, get our six plutonium over here. Come over to your chemical synthesizer like this, and put one in there like that. And you get, shift these out, we now get six blaze powders. Still says it's there, but it's not. Just come back again and it's gone. So that's actually the, the most effective way of getting blaze powders from blaze rods. Let's put those away somewhere in here, possibly. So now, Killer Joe, let's go back to the farm where we're doing the, all of the stuff. up some more purple or green sugar cane so let's have a look what have we got here so I made a mistake here and I hadn't noticed it's got no power so with a bit of luck I might should have at least two of these I need one of those don't I and some cable two should be enough I'll take three just in case so we can put this on here like that there's no configuration needed. I'm trying to block there you go. So they sit on the top and the, and the fluid ones on the bottom. So now we just need to put some cable on that. If I hit this block here like that and there. So now it should have some power. In fact, it is actually working. Interestingly enough, the power is coming in slowly. But the nutrients coming out fairly fast. How much have we got now? Now we need a way of taking this out and putting this into a tank, I guess. Or sending it outside into the... Well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Was to send it outside. So now I've run out of um, meat. So we haven't got a way of getting the meat from the farm yet. But there should be plenty of meat in here let's have a look yes that's probably been taken out going around here oh yes look stacks of it it's interesting i wonder how much power this is using up when we're actually getting it to to work I wonder for the recipe let's have a look so it's used up all of that power straight away So it's using 200,000 RF per take. Well, that's a lot. Maybe I need different power cables for that one. <laughs> 200,000 we got, yes. Okay, we'll need some advanced. So these are 640,000, aren't they? Let's have a look, quick look. 640 RF per take, and it's taking 200,000. Wow. Never mind, we'll get nutrient out of here at reasonable speed, so it doesn't matter that much. In fact, it's using up those fairly quickly. I didn't realise it was used as much as that. So what we'll do now, let's pipe that into a different place. So let's pipe it into here. So, so we can put the killer gear wherever we want to. Um, I should have some fluid, fluid conduit, fluid conduit with me, and a fluid interface. That one, the fluid duct interface, and some fluid duct con conduit, great. So, I can't put it onto there, because that's already using that tank. But what we can do, of course, is put it on this one. Or put it onto this one. I could make another one, of course. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. And then it saves, saves conduit. So let's just take this. It's already set to Randall's. Let's click that. Get a Randall there, reconfigure it. Let's put onto that the air. Uh, get that out of the way. Let's put onto that. 
fact, I could do that the other way as well to, for, for the output of the power, uh, for the water, couldn't I? So now we want to configure this to tank two. So now it's on tank two, so it's not going to mix with the water. So all we need to do is take one conduit here like this. Oops. Oh, that's strange. I just shift left click that. I uh, shift right click that with it. And it picked it up like a wrench. I didn't know it did that, to be honest with you. Put it back. Oops, wrong one. Put the back, back here. That was most strange. It should have been, everything should remain configured, so it's no big deal. Let's try doing it with a fluid conduit instead. Shift right, actually I just right click on don't I? Right, shift like that. So now we need to simply configure this. So right click on that one. So we've got the output side here. So we want to basically push this out, I think. Maybe we don't need to do that actually, maybe we just need to set this one up. So this wants to be an extract. Auto active. Always active, so that's extracting into here. And then it's inserting into here. And that's all we need to do. So this tank now, if we look at the tank, can we do that? Yes, we can look, perfect. Tank two nutrient distillation. So now we can go and take that and get it from somewhere else. So the other part of this, of course, next, be to take the meat from the farm here automatically and feed that into the, into here. But I've got a feeling at some stage we're going to do it a different way. So let's get some more, some more raw beef. And put that into here to let it carry on producing nutrient. So you see, works fine. So now we have to go to our place where we want to do the, the grinding of mobs. So I suspect I'm going to start with zombies. That means probably I need another zombie. So that was down here, wasn't it? Now it has a range of four by four. So I'm gonna put it down here like this. And I think if I do it that way, I'm not sure which the front is. I will be honest with you, that's a upside down zombie head. And you see it collects, it, it takes XP from the mobs it grinds. So we've got the nutrient tank. So we need to fill the nutrient tank in and I need a spawner. So in fact, it does it four by four in all directions. So that's fine. What we will do is make some doors for here too. So let's first of all, set this up, I think. Let's put at the back here, the, the roundel. Where has he gone to? Here we are, one roundel here. Try to remember to left click it and right click this. Now we need another fluid conduit, which I've got, I think I've got a few of these, I think I got eight last time, so we used seven. So we've got one of those down there. So we put that onto here like this. And then we should be able to configure this to being tank two. That's fantastic. And then we just put some more conduit on here. Like this, if I shift, no, let's right click that I reckon. Oh, shift right click, good. So now we can simply set this to being extract. Always active. Yes, I think that's good. And then we can, actually is it done it already? Yes, it's filled. I didn't need to set it to insert. Okay, because that of course the other one was set to input and output. So then we need to put a sword in this. Let's put this sword in here and find out if I'm in the wrong place, because it will attack me as well. Yes, you see, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> we shall sneak around the side of that. So it is attacking a four by four. I may need to move this back one. 
actually let's do it back one by putting it on top of here like this now it tells me mode none side north so if I right click this we can look at the configuration it's got no configuration in there doesn't need power. That's one thing that it doesn't need. Take 10 levels, take XP. And if I turn it around, oh, that's pulling. I don't need to pull. Can I rotate it? Yes, that actually looks like so. It's zombie faces, the actual front. Good. No. So. That's set up. So all we need is now some doors and a spawner. Now a spawner does need power. Um, let's just to say, let's just take this solid out of here so we can actually walk in front of it without getting attacked. So we all create a, a spawner, and I'll create a zombie spawner to start with, which I've got to, means I've got to go and get another zombie, or maybe a skelly spawner. And we'll get some wooden steel doors, I think. So let's make some well steel doors. Let's make some iron doors first of all. I was going the wrong way. Let's transmit my way back the fastest way. So iron does actually I think I've got some iron on no, I put it away, didn't I? See we've got a few stacks of this now, so we need six. In fact in this version we need twelve, don't we? It's six for a door. In ten two it's uh, three it's two for a door. A bit cheaper. We've got two doors now we need some levers for that to keep them open or closed and so we can get in and out and we probably need some other blocks as well tardis mod is here let's take those two with us we've got some blocks there maybe some glass as well that will probably be quite sensible i'm not sure why i've got rice cakes with the tardis mod i think it's because it's only got a funny it's got a funny configuration this one yes i've got uh, creative tabs in here so i've got Food stuff, tools, and combat. Yeah, that makes sense, then, doesn't it? Probably should turn those off and put them to a different chest. Um, that aside, so what else did we need? Some blocks, some doors, and a lever or two. Let's take, make two levers. One piece of wood. I'm sure I've got sticks around somewhere, but takes too much to f time to find them probably should be in here I've got any no I didn't have any actually okay let's go and put those doors into place and we need a powered spawner I've actually got some powered spawners set up but I don't want to use those to start with I've got one for endermen endermen are always a bit special so so let's put the two doors down like this. In fact, that then should be blocked up, shouldn't it? So we do all we need to do now do is I'll remove these. Oops, I'm crazy. Um, roundels a bit. Let's just put a. Let's set this up. I should put leave it straight on the roundel, can't I? That should then open. Oh, it doesn't open the doors. Why not? Is it too far away? Right, they're open in the other direction. That's fine. I think it's fine. Let's have a look. Oh, nah. Actually, I want them on the front. Let's do that. Them on the front. Oh, we got my pickaxe here. Yes, I have. Like this. In fact, the, the lever can stay in the same position. Let's just turn that one. I should bash the door. In fact, the door should open, shouldn't it? <laughs> to put this one down here like that, open the door that way. Is it too far away? I can't. It is right. Okay, good. Right, 
Now I can get in and do my whatever I need to do. So we shall put the powered spawn in another. I don't know whether it matters or whether the mobs will spawn outside here. So that's one thing I've not investigated yet. So let's go and get a powered spawner. Which means, of course, I've got to go back and get another zombie. But we should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I? Well, then that's charged up, so that's fine. And I've put away the soul vial. I'll tell you what. Should be in here, shouldn't it? Okay, I think that's all I need. I don't need any of these blocks. I think they'll be okay. We'll keep them with us just in case. And I'll put the the conduit back in here where it belongs. And I think I will put this one in here. Maybe I should take some more of these. Actually, they're only 512, so maybe I need 81,000. And that's actually the max. We could take a couple of those, in fact. We'll see. Anyway, I'm actually running out of time to do this. So I'll quickly go and get another... I think we're quickly going to get another zombie in the vial. So we can make a power... To... Oh, I don't need to do that. I've already got them. I've got plenty of zombie spawners, but they might be... In fact, they are, I'm sure of it. Yes, they are the um, evoked ones evolved zombie spawners I mean so let's come back into here so it's ZFRR Last one, and we can go through. The steps are very useful there as well, by the way. It's something you do need. Well, I, I feel as though there should be a second one of these to bring you back to that place. As it goes green, we can go. We go through. Oh, there we are. Oh, zombie, first of all. Like that. Good. <laughs> All right, we just teleport back. Let's tell it transport to the, into the TARDIS, and I will come back next time. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series, uh, this episode. I'm going to basically um, set up the powered spawner, and we don't need to do that on camera. That's fairly basic. You just basically put a, a spawner in here and just convert it with some XP and I think I've got enough XP so I'll see you next time bye for now